Hey guys, this is Nikki and this is my boyfriend Jerry. Hi. And <laughs> we're making a boyfriend tag that you guys have all requested. And yeah. <laughs> so Jerry and I have been dating just this past Saturday was our nine months. So we've been dating nine months and hopefully we'll date for a long time. Yeah. Because both of us don't want to end anything anytime soon. Yeah. So, um, the way you do a boyfriend tag is you just look up the boyfriend tag questions and I'll look them up on Jerry's phone. And um, you just answer them and you see what you know about each other. And these are actually like really entertaining. Like I watch these all the time on YouTube. So I'm so excited to be doing this with my baby. Okay. So, we'll start. I'll ask the question, you answer it, and then you ask me the question, and I'll answer okay. it. So, okay. Where did we meet? Well, we met after a football game. Um, I had a few of my friends over, and she just happened to tag along. And one thing led to another, and five, hour late, five hours later, we, um, we had a thing. Yeah. We talked for five hours straight. It was different than with any other guy. He actually cared about me, like he wanted to know about me, he just wanted to get to know me. And it caught me off guard because usually I was used to guys treating me like crap, like, oh, like I, ju I just want you for the night and then not like me the next day. But he actually cared, like he just didn't want to hook up, he wanted to like get to know me. And I liked that he treated me like a girl and he had respect for me and he just, he caught me with his personality and his charming little smile <laughs> he just yeah that night ever since we've been like inseparable <laughs> where was our first date okay well our first date was in my basement um we double dated with my best friend alex and she was with this guy um who's his friend that she didn't know if she liked him or not so and I didn't know if I wanted a boyfriend at the time. I was actually really hard. Um, Ash Jerry, I was the most difficult girl he ever tried to get with because I just, at the time, I didn't know if I wanted a boyfriend. I started my senior year. I didn't know what I wanted for the year. And I was just really unsure about dating. So it was our idea that we would have a date night in my basement and that um, he would come with his friend and I would invite my friend over, Alex. And we each partnered up on the couch and we watched 21 Jump Street. And I didn't really watch the movie. <laughs> wow. Okay. Because I was just too focused on him. And um, I got crazy butterflies and I knew I really liked him. And I didn't want him to go home that night. And I just knew, okay, if I have these feelings, there's no way that we can't be dating. So um, I locked him to the door because he had to leave. And he asked me if I if I would date him and be his girlfriend, and I said yes. And I he out. was like, "What? Yes? Wait, was that a yes?" And I was like, "Yeah." He freaked out. He like picked me up and he like spun me around. He was really happy. I was Cinderella really happy. moment. Cinderella moment. <laughs> what was your first impression of me? This was a really good one. Um, Wait, my TV's on the whole time in the background. Gosh. I'm not gonna um, re record this, but I'm so sorry for the TV on. I'm gonna turn I'll it off. I got it. Okay, turn it off. I'm sorry about that. I'm just not the type that's just gonna start this all over because we already answered the questions. I just hope you guys were okay with that. We turned it off now, so. Okay. okay. So, my first impression of Nikki. Well, actually, last May, so over, over a year, a year and a few months ago, I messaged her for the first time on Facebook. Because I thought she was the most beautiful girl I've ever seen, and I was just like, wow. Um, the first time we talked, I was in like awe because I don't know. I she was always just such a reach for me. I thought she was so out of my league. Um, I just never thought I'd have a chance. And when she started talking to me, I. I was screaming like a little girl inside, to be honest, and um, <laughs> I just thought she was perfect. I couldn't be any happier. That was cute! <laughs> Baby. When did you meet my family? I met his family in November, very beginning of November. We started dating in our end of October, so not too long after we started dating, I met his family, and um, well... We were we had plans to do our first 
like double date going out um, to see the movie Perks of Being a Wallflower. And um, before that, I went to his house for dinner and I was so nervous because he has a bunch of little sisters and I was so worried about what they would think of me and I just wanted to like impress his family like I, I, I heard that he was really close with his mom so I had to like win her over I felt like um, if she didn't like me I was scared he wouldn't like me anymore so I mean I went in um, just being myself um, and I just really tried to get to know all his family members and he has the cutest little sister she's five her name's Chloe. She she's looks just like butt. him as a little girl. <laughs> um, she's a pain in the butt, but she's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, yeah, she's definitely something. So when I first met his little sister, like that was awesome because she really liked me and we played Barbies. It was cute. And they forced um, me to play Barbies. Yeah, we forced him to play Barbies, and um, and I just admitted that on. <laughs> well, sorry, he's buddy. a good older brother. That's a good way to put it. He's a good older brother, um, and. Um, yeah, so we had dinner, and I made sure I ate everything on my plate. <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah, so then we saw the movie, and that was the first time I met his family. So, okay. Oh, oh well, this is for both of us. What's a weird habit that each of us has? She bites me and squeezes me and makes these really weird noises. Just, <laughs> just, I don't know, right now she just... That's what she said. Huh, no. I, I didn't mean it like that. Like, when we're just like this, she'd squeeze me and go like, eh. Yeah, my habit is if I think something's really cute, um, or like, I'm really excited, or I'm in a really good mood, I go like this. Here, hold this for a second. I go, you know, you squish him. And What's sometimes it called? The D-Martino. The D-Martino squeeze. That's what me and all my sisters do. It's like, I don't know, my grandma does it, my mom does it, I don't know, like, we just... We squeeze when we're excited and we and when I get really overexcited or if I think he's being like so cute I'll bite him and it sounds really bad, but I'll take his arm and I'll bite him. I just yeah, I need to bite his so arm weird. or I need to squeeze him. I just You're so cute. I just need to do this. This is what I always do when I think he's like adorable. Um, a weird habit that Jerry has is Hmm Weird habit Oh He's crazy with his wallet. He has to keep all his money completely, like, sh no wrinkles in it. It has to be completely, like, neat and in order. <laughs> and, yeah, and you're kind of like that about your car. His car is freakishly organized. Like, he's definitely more organized than I am. Yeah. Except your room. Yeah. I mean, he's organized with certain things, but it's like, yeah, I guess that's a habit. I'm trying to think of another habit that you do. What's it? Um, I don't have any. You have to have one. Wow, that is a really good question. You have to have a habit. I can't think of any. If you can't think of any, how am I supposed to? Yeah, I don't know. You don't have a habit? He has a habit of falling asleep early. Yeah, I'm an early bird. He falls asleep way before I do, and I'm just wide awake, like, where's my texting buddy? He's a sleepyhead, and he'll wake up so early, and I'll just be sleeping until noon. So our sleep schedules are different, but yeah, I guess it's a habit. He falls asleep really early. How long have we been together? We um, answered that in the beginning. Yeah. Nine months. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any traditions? I don't think so, not yet. I could think of one. Whenever it's an anniversary, we always go out to dinner. Okay. It's a tradition, I guess. Well, I just realized that because we, on every um, time it's an anniversary, like nine months, eight months, seven months, we've gone out to dinner. Yeah. Except prom, our um, six months, seven months, seven months, our seven months was on um, the day after prom and he slept over my house. So we woke up and we're like, it's, oh my God, it's our We went out to lunch. We went out to lunch. We, went out to we, lunch. Just, we did so go out to We did go out. An animal that resembles one another. Oh, God. <laughs> I can't think of one. I always say he resembles a German Shepherd. Yeah. Or like a Husky, like one of the dogs. What? You didn't tell me I what I, I resemble. I, you have to pick one. An animal 
It's part of the tag. We have to answer all our questions. I don't know. I really do not know. What can you mean? People who are watching are going to get mad that you didn't answer. <sighs> She looks like one of those koala bears with the really big eyes, and that's really tiny because she's really small and she's got the biggest eyes I've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> there I'm we a go. <laughs> that was cute. You, you have good answers, baby. Um, what was our first road trip? Our first road trip, in. our first actual road trip, we drove down to this one's beach house oh, in yeah. Delaware. And we stopped and we got our munchies for the trip. Yeah, and she spilled them on my floor and I freaked out because I'm OCD about that. Yep. Like she said, my car. Like car. Yep. First thing you... Wait, is this my turn or your turn? Mine. Your turn. First thing you noticed about me. First thing I noticed about you... Well, I got a weird first impression because he was just one of those kids that just messaged me on Facebook. I was afraid to talk to you. He was afraid to talk to me. He's an under. He's like a year younger than me, so he was an underclassman at the time, and I was a junior. And I was like, what's this underclassman doing messaging me? <laughs> and he sent me um, a paragraph explaining just how... Stop. No. <laughs> okay. No, don't do that to well, me. Well, okay, I won't do it to Jerry. But... First impression was that when he looked me in the eye, um, this was... Wait, this was actually before I went to his house. This was in gym class. We both had gym eighth period. And... We were talking about hanging out later that night with that group of people, and um, I went up to him, and he looked me right in the eye. Like, he wasn't looking anywhere else. He was just looking me in the eye, like, engaging in a, in a conversation, and his eyes were so blue and really cute. And he really, like, he just looked at me different. And I know that sounds cheesy, but I really, I swear I'm not making this up. I just thought something was different when he was looking at me, and it was a good difference. So that's my first impression. What do we? I want to hear yours. What's your first impression no, of me? No. Yeah, come my on. My first impression of you was either my freshman year or sophomore year. And a friend of mine was actually talking to me about her and how we would be really, we'd be a really good fit for each other. And I saw her for the first time and I was absolutely blown away. Aww. Okay. Hmm. What pisses him off? Oh, great. <laughs> what pisses him off is when I do this. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Three things I'm good and not good at. Okay. There you go. He's, number one is baseball. He's really good at baseball. He was actually on Team USA. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what where he goes with his baseball. Um, playing for the first time in 18 months Yeah, tomorrow. he's playing tomorrow for the first time in 18 months because he had the Tommy John surgery and he also had his eye incident. Um, so yeah, so he's, number one is baseball. Number two, he's so good at putting others before him. He is the most selfless person I know. He puts everyone before him. He puts his family, he puts me, he puts everything he does, he'll, he'll do for somebody else and not just for himself. And if it ever came to a situation where it would be for himself or for somebody else, he would do it for somebody else because he's so selfless. So that's something he's really good at. And then the third one is he's really good at kissing butt. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say driving or something. But... Oh, well, he's good at driving. Driving and kissing butt will be the two things. Not literally kissing butt. Trust me, no. no he's real. So, okay, why... I say the wrong thing. He's good at um, getting people to like him. Yeah. And my phone's ringing. Just keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. But um, he's like really good at brown nosing my dad and brown nosing my mom and brown nosing my grandma and that's my pop up. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so he's good Thank at. Thank you for embarrassing me. <laughs> okay. I always have to embarrass him. I feel really bad. Okay. okay. Three things I'm not good at. Three things you're not good at. Darn. <sighs> You're not good at... What are you not good at? I don't know. You're... I don't know what you're not good at. Um, staying taking up. Taking no for an answer. Oh yeah, taking no for an answer. Even if I say like, I'll pay for that, he's like, no, no, I'm gonna pay. He never lets me pay. That's one thing, he doesn't take no for an answer. He's not good at...
You can give me two. Just give me one more and then we okay. can move on. He's not good at... He's not good at... Not good at. I don't know. Okay. I give up. I tried, guys. I tried. Do I have any weird obsessions? Yeah. Um, YouTube. And each and every one of you that watch this, I know she doesn't make it too blatantly obvious, but she loves you more than anything. It's ridiculous. She drives me crazy sometimes. Um,. She has an obsession with her phone. She can't ever get off of it. Yeah. That also drives me insane. Yep. She has an obsession with her adorable little Yorkie. Lily! Um, you guys know Lily. She has an obsession with singing and makeup and dance. And every now and then she's obsessed with me. <laughs> right. Aww. Um, if I'm watching TV, what am I watching? Baseball. Yeah. Wait, it's not one about me. That's funny. I watch so much TV. MTV. Uh, anything on MTV. Catfish. Tinkerbell. Disney Channel. Cartoons. Girl Code. Girl Code. Girl Code. Who's with me on that one? I'm obsessed with Girl Code. Um, yeah. A lot of kitty stuff. I, w I won't ever grow up. No. Ridiculous. No. no way, that's stupid. What size shoe do I wear? Seven. That's stupid. <laughs> what would I eat every day if I could? Anything hot. Really, really, really hot. Explain that one. Uh, yeah. We go out to dinner sometimes and she, uh, I ask her what she wants. And the only thing she ever wants is hot wings with the hottest sauce possible. I, it makes me look bad. But yeah, so anything really hot. Yeah, he's a wimp when it comes to eating spicy things. Mm -hmm. Thanks, babe. You're proud. What's my favorite kind of music? Hopefully he sees this. Versace, 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 Versace. Wrong. Jake Miller! Thank oh! You. Cool, okay. It was Jake Miller because we both are obsessed with Jake Miller. Oh, because of me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, he introduced me to Jake Miller. But the other one is this Versace song that he plays on repeat lately in his car. So, Versace, Jake, Versace. if you happen to get, like, 10,000 more followers, it's because of me. Or subscribers, whatever it is. Yeah. So, please follow me on Twitter. At Baseball I know. Too. Jake Thank Miller, you. I please you. follow both of us. At Nikki Demar and at Baseball Scooch, too. Something I do that I wish I didn't do. Or that you wish I didn't do. Worry about how your hair and makeup looks all the time. That's it. it. What can I spend hours doing? Looking at cars. Oh yeah. Yeah. And oh. he just sat in a Ferrari. Oh yeah. And it, it that's was his awesome. dream is to sit in a Ferrari and he's really mind blown about that. I have the best picture ever of it. It's awesome. What do you love most about each other? We'll both answer this. You can go first. Okay. Um, this is going to be all cute. I love that, well, first of all, I love this eye thing he does. He, when he... And I'm not going to do it for He's not going to do it, but he, like, looks down and looks up at me, and I think it's the cutest thing ever, but I love that, and I love, I love how you treat me. You treat me like a princess. You deal with my crazy moments when I'm completely losing my temper or when I'm really down in the dumps. You know, you're the only person who knows how to make me feel 100% better. He's the only one who knows how to cheer me up. He's the only one who gets me. He's my best friend and my boyfriend in one. And I'm so lucky. And he is my sunshine. That's really cheesy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's true. Like, um, I love that... He, I mean, I love this, but I also don't like this. He never lets me pay whenever we go out, but I love that it's so gentleman of him just to never let me pay 
but I just, I want to because I feel bad. He like spends so much on me, he doesn't have to, and I hope you're really listening to that. I'll let you pay the night. Okay. No, not really. I love that he's just such a gentleman and he really respects my family and I love that he gets along with everyone in my family and my, my nanny is in love with him. She always says if she was younger she would get on that. <laughs> yeah, so I love that he plays, he's my baseball player. I love that he never gives up and that he's a fighter and that he's a hard worker and that he is going to chase after all his dreams because he is so determined and motivated and he has the biggest dreams and biggest plans and he's... <sighs> Never a slacker. I just love everything about him. He's the best boyfriend ever. <laughs> well, that was really cute. Um, I'm going to keep mine a lot shorter and simpler. Um, I love your smile <laughs> and the way you look at me. I love the fact that you're the only person that can get me out of my worst moods when I need help with something or when I just need to talk to somebody. You're the very first person I go to. Um, I love and hate that you stole my heart the night we met, <laughs> because sometimes I wish you didn't, so we go at it, box. Yeah, we could, we could fight all the time, but no, no matter what, like, our fights are just because we love each other so much. Um, I'm gonna go a day without you. Um. I don't know. I love the, sp the spark we have between us. I love where we're headed. Um, I have love. I love the past ten months because we met ten months ago. Um, I just love you. Mm. If we weren't on camera right now, I'd give you a kiss. Yeah. Here we go. Mm, this is like really gushy, but I love him, and I hope you guys love him because he makes me happy, and... I think you're stuck with me for a while. Yeah, he's my Sorry. other half, and the funny thing is, I didn't even know who he was before this year. Yeah, he completely... I was a loser to her. No, I, you weren't a loser, you just were years younger than me, and it was weird, but he completely just out of nowhere and if you're if you're watching this and you're not having luck with any guys trust me things happen for a reason because I was single all high school until he came along um he came out of nowhere and they always say the relationships that are random and come out of nowhere are the best ones and boy is that right my stomach just growled I think we should go out to eat soon so yeah, right after we're done taping this we're going to get Asian food heck yeah yeah so I hope you guys like this, and I hope you guys liked him, because he's my, my poop. <laughs> yeah, we call each other poop. <laughs> yeah, and other things, but they're not G-rated, so. <laughs> oh, my lipstick didn't come off. I wanted to give him one of the lipstick things. Sorry. Benefited you. Yeah, perfect. Okay, bye, guys. Bye.